Okay, this is a video that I've been uh, anticipating doing for a long time, probably for a few years, and I'll tell you why it takes so long to, to, to do this video. I may have mentioned the last piece that's going to complete this whole setup here, and that's the incinerator toilet. I didn't want the designs that you need a liner that goes in the incinerator toilet. I wanted a propane one, and um, and I needed something within my price range. So those factors uh, made it really, really hard to find this toilet that I got. And you won't find them advertised anywhere other than someone selling them from uh, their garage or some barn or something. I found mine at a lady who, who got it from an estate sale. So somebody who had an old house and she she purchased everything and sold it to me. So you won't find this toilet on, online and that's, uh, you won't find any information on it. Um, forgive me as I stumble along, there's a lot of information to talk about this thing, but I'm gonna go through some basics and some other information of research that I've been doing. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> okay, so this is called <clears throat> the Little John, the, the Jackman International Little John from a company in Salt Lake City that used to be running. 1905 South, 1045 West. I don't, I, I don't think they're there anymore. But um, <clears throat> this is the instruction manual. Looks pretty old as far as like style. I, I would guess like 70s, maybe early 80s or something. Some people have commented when I show them stuff like this that you don't they they didn't think that they made incinerator toilets back then but yes they do they absolutely do you just you can find no information on them and I found one earlier uh, probably two years ago and it was a design that it, you could see that it just has a, a flip up a uh, little cap that opens up and then you then it closes when it incinerates this is similar to that concept. It doesn't need the liners or anything. But I'll show you what it does. This is the instructions on how to use it. So you just close the lid. It's very intuitive. That's one feature I wanted to get, which is very easy to do. So close the lid to flush. I'll show you what it does. So you hear the little timer. I don't know if you hear that timer uh, clicking off, but it runs about 15 minutes supposedly is what the instructions say. I don't have it hooked up obviously. It's run on propane or natural gas and there's a little pilot light that, that you light. And <clears throat> this little tray will slide out. So this has never been used before. So this is basically brand new. So interesting though to see this. Probably uh, those those are rods for the heat to go through it as it incinerates everything. So. You can see the pilot light dial thing. show you that so I guarantee if you ever wanted to research this thing you're not going to find any information on this the Jackson Jackman International Little John so the only thing you're gonna find is Hugh Jackman the celebrity and uh, got a double walled outlet thing so once you open the lid the little pooper flipper turns back around ready for another use so basically the concept you can see that the pooper flipper whatever you call it once it flips over it turns into a cap incinerates everything next use I thought it was just awesome it says patent pending on this I guess they were a startup company or something and they were trying to patent that so 
I don't know what else to talk about. I haven't used it yet, so it, I have to probably do another video on it. But that's why it took so long to find something within my reach. I had to drive to Southern Utah to to get this thing, and I'm and I'm from Iowa, so I had to coordinate that. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, oh man, I was. It, it took me a year to get this. It was up on the market. Uh, for that long because nobody knew what it was and they it, I guess the she was asking for too much but by the time a year passed I, I she was motivated to sell it so I got a, a deal on it I think because I didn't know anything either about it she didn't know anything and I just thought well I'll, I'll take a chance on it and I knew enough to know that it's a design that I wanted propane the that design flipper flopper and then intuitive and it has potential to become a HHO generator toilet and this is something I've done videos on before that's the future longer term goal with this thing I could hook it up right now and use it but the future goal is to turn it into an HHO incinerator toilet I found a toilet way back when it was a design where it just has a cap to cap off everything the, the one I was, that I've talked about before and I wanted that really bad but I couldn't get it it's too far away and that one caught me on to I, I tried to research it and find anything on it so I I've, but it what it did do was it it got me on to an article that is very obscure um, I don't know if it's up still if you could find it but this article I'm going to show you that I found it's it's about an HHO generator toilet and that technology is everywhere they use them in cars to supplement fuel they make them for starting to make them for other things bigger production and they're starting to try to store hydrogen in different ways and one way you could do it is in your your uh, regular propane tank and people have done this I know people say it's you know you can't do that or whatever but you can it takes more sorry hydrogen to to burn something than propane but when you when you're able to able to produce hydrogen on the spot and it's endless as long as you have water then you have an endless source of, of fuel so think about that concept it uses uh, uses the urine into the HHO generator, splits the water that's in it. It not only sanitizes it with the oxygen that goes through it, but also um, the hydrogen it uses to incinerate the rest of it. So hopefully that makes sense because I I'm researching this myself. But I found um, through this article and other other uh, sources that this technology is available right now so the long-term goal I could use a propane tank eventually I'll get an HHO generator splitter and then I'll supply that with um, the the hydrogen into my propane tanks and so that I could replace the propane with hydrogen and this have this burn that somehow I'll have to get the the urine uh, maybe making a, a separate urine place or something so that I can collect that into the HHO generator. Um, those are just uh, developing thoughts right now. So I gave you just kind of a, a general um, a synopsis of what was happening, but it took a very, very, very long time and a lot of research and effort to get this thing. So hopefully that makes sense of why why it took so long. But um, I hope it's exciting to you because it was exciting to me to get this, and at least the concept. As long as you know it, then you can take off with your own ideas. Uh, if you've got those, keep searching around. I'm confident enough to say that I guarantee you, you will see something or hear something on my videos that you've never seen before. So. That are cool and exciting so good luck with your searching and inventions let me know if you're onto something i love to talk to people about that 
and I'll, I'll start doing more videos on, on this thing and other things.